So I thought I covered everything about Sage, but actually one of the viewers, one of you reminded me that we didn't cover this JavaScript DOM based routing. Unfortunately, I can't find that comment right now, but if you are, the, you are the viewer that suggested this, please just let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I haven't prepared for this video at all. Uh, I just read the documentation, so I guess we are going to be doing this live. We'll do it live! F*** it! Uh, so please excuse any mistakes that happened during this video, and there probably will be some. So if you go to resources, assets, uh, scripts, you have this main.js file, which looks like this right now. So if you, if you have been following this series, it probably looks like this for you too. But uh, this is not what you get out of the box with Sage. Uh, this is just some kind of uh, different implementation that we try to do with our JavaScript, which is not using jQuery and so on. What you actually get with Sage is something like this. So if we go right here, you get this code out of the box. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here, right? And we get this linter error. So we just need to add a comma right here. So if I save this, go to my page, this isn't going to work right away. And as you can see, we are getting some errors uh, because we haven't defined jQuery. And uh, we haven't defined jQuery because we turned it off in when we set up our Sage. So if we go to app setup, uh, you can see that we are not calling jQuery right here. So we are going to call it. Okay, save it. And if we go to our page right now, as you can see, everything works except for these models because we turned off that JavaScript that we had before. So now we are all ready to go, uh, everything works. So I'm going to explain to you how this JavaScript DOM based routing works. So for the router to work, you need to import router. So this is the logic for the router itself. Anything below that is just your custom JavaScript. So import common, import home, import about us. This is just going to be the JavaScript that you will write but uh, you need to know some things about this. So first of all, common is going to be used on all the pages. So everywhere you go, the JavaScript that you write there is going to fire there. For home is going to fire on the home page. For about us, it's going to just fire on about us page, right? So I think that's pretty clear. Uh, one thing you need to note is that this doesn't actually rely on the actual routes of your application or your website. This uh, relies on the classes that you have in the body tag of your pages. So for example, if we go to our home page, you can see that we have the class of home and the body tag. If you go to products, you can see that you have this archive, post type archive and so on. So you need to be aware of that and you need to call your files that way and especially your imports that way. So if we want to target this page, we would need to create an import which is going to be called post type archive or, or post type archive products. Uh, by using post type archive products, we are actually going to target this page directly. But if we use something like archive or post type archive, then we are going to uh, target all of the archive pages on our site. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, so just in conclusion, the router is actually not using the routes, something like this, but it's using the classes in your body tag. So I keep mentioning the imports and their names. So for example, for about us page, your import will not be called about dash us because this is JavaScript and you can't call it that way, but you have to call it the camel cased version of about us. And it actually says right here. So about us page, note the change from about dash us to about us. However, your file in which you are going to write your JavaScript can be called whatever you want, but I suggest you call it something that makes sense. Okay, so we don't have an about us page, so I'm going to delete this and also this. Uh, so let's try to tar target our product archive page. 
Okay, so product archive. So how are we going to target that? Uh, we are going to first create a new file in our routes folder, routes, and we are going to call that file. Remember, we can call it whatever we like. So product archive products archive.js okay so now we have that file so and i'm going to copy this to products archive just so that we have something in save this go right here close all of these files go right here and now i want to import now the import as i said is crucial so we need to def Find what we want to import right here. So are we going to call it archive? If we call it archive, it's going to be applied to all the archive pages. Are we going to call it post type archive? This is also going to be applied to all archive pages. But if we want to target this particular page, then we have to call it post type archive products. Okay, so we are importing post type archive products from routes products archive. And then we just define it right here. Okay, great. Now uh, we can go to our file. So let's just test if this works by doing some something like Okay, save this and go to our page and let's see if this works. We go to console. As you can see, we get hello from the product archive page. Now, if we go back, we can see that that is not here, right? If we go right here, you can see what's run. So what are these init and finalize methods on in our products archive.js? Also, you have those in your about page, common and home pages. So these are order in which scripts are going to be fired. And it goes like this. So the first one that is going to be fired before everything else is actually this, whatever is written right here. So we, whatever you write right here in your common.js file. So this is the first thing that is going to be run on the page, always. Next thing, uh, if you are on, let's say, about page or products are half page, then the second thing that is going to be run is this in it. Then from there, if you're still on the product page, whatever you write here is going to be run. And then after all things have run, in your common.js, whatever is written right here, this is going to be run last. Okay, so let's test this out. So I'm just going to copy this console log and put it right here. So I should run first. As I said, this should be run first, then I should run second. I should run third. And I should run last, right? Save this, go to our page. And as you can see, I should run first, I should run second, I should run third, I should run last. The order is actually correct. As I said before, uh, this is very important because JavaScript depends on some things that you may define before. So it's very important that you know which script, which of your scripts run first, second, last, and so on. So before we finish up this episode, there's just one more thing to show you. And that is a custom event listener called routed. So every time a Sage fires a route, it's going to dispatch this routed event and then you can react to routes by listening to that event. So this is straight from the documentation. Uh, you will add that event listener called routed, and then you can listen for the route name or for the route event. And when something of those events or routes happen, uh, you can do something and react to that change. So if we save that, go to the home page, for example, as you can see, we are going to get all of these. So you can react to all of this. So home in it, home finalized, blog in it. We are getting blog update and so on, because if we go to elements, you will see that blog update, index data, home data, and so on are actually present on the home page.
So once all of those fire, then you have this common finalize and then this is uh, I should run last method. So you can react to all of those methods from wherever you like, because if you are using this routing, uh, you are going to get that routed event listener and you can use it to react to the routes. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.